Here at the Life Outdoors, we believe that there's so much more to hunting than just pulling the trigger. In today's video, we're going to talk about pack goats and why we think they are the perfect pack animal for hunters. Another thing we're going to talk about is why we have pack goats, and we're going to give you three reasons why we think pack goats are the perfect pack animal for hunters. Especially a guy like me, I'm getting in my 50s. Um, I want to be able to chase elk up in the wilderness for another 20 years and pack goats are the reason that I think I'll be able to do that. So I'm going to give you uh, three tips, three reasons why I think, and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I have the goats that I have. Come on guys, go, 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 okay, go, go. He's been chasing Cole, <laughs> him and Cole are playing. <laughs> So just like on Madagascar, remember Melvin on Madagascar? The lead goat up there, his name is Bo. And uh, he is the lead goat and he's got an attitude like a lead goat. His attitude is he's just gonna do what he does. And everybody else is gonna go around him, except for me. He doesn't, he doesn't give me any problems or any human. He's never gave a human a problem. This guy right here, his name is Rock. the second goat because these guys are Nubian Alpine mixes so they're going to be huge compared to the over Hossi and Alpine mix which these two are so they're going to uh, they're going to get bigger size and you already saw that he uh, that Rai was challenging things and Rai does that if you look at his horns they're chipped up from him challenging everybody so um, why pack goats? Why goats? Well, this is one of the reasons right here. Look at this. It's so easy. I'm here with a dog and four goats, and I'm able to keep them moving. And I don't have them. I don't have leads on them. The only time I put leads on them is when I want to stop them. But uh, this is why. And they are an animal built for this. They are built for this. You just told me Cole a little bit. <laughs> What's up, Culver? Did that go get you? You don't have to take that from him. You tell him no. Yep, these guys are uh, real easy to deal with. That's why I say pack goats. food source it's right here with them and they know how to get around they know how to it hit the nutritional stuff so that is the biggest um, reason number one to have a string of pack goats rather than other animals is you do not have to pack food in for them. now when I say you don't have to pack food in that doesn't mean you don't pack Um, 
one of the other big reasons, and this is not part of the three, but one of the other big reasons is if you look, these pack goats are getting really used to being in the same places I hunt elk. And that's what part of what we're doing is we're acclimating them to be able to uh, feel like that they're doing something out here where we hunt elk. And, and uh, these guys have taken it to it like peanut butter and jelly. And I, I tell you what, they are some of the happiest goats that I've ever been around. They love coming out and going for walks. And we're going to really start hitting them here pretty quick. So um, first reason, first reason why uh, I think pack goats are the perfect animal is they take care of themselves out in the woods. Another thing is they're incredibly agile. They love to play in the rocks. Look at Melvin over there. He's up playing in the rocks and that's whiskey back there. And they're incredibly agile. They love to play. Um, and uh, so once we start getting packs on these guys, I won't have to worry about them in the woods. So this is the third reason, and there's more than just three, but this is the third. See how close these guys are to me? They like humans. They like being around humans. They think that I'm dad. They like their love. Look, watch him. He's gonna love us. He loves to get loved on. They like humans. So, so like and subscribe. Follow along as we uh, show you what we do with the pack goats and how we are going to train them and how we're going to use them. He wants his horn scratch bad. Watch. That's what he wants. He wants his horn scratch. That's got a really itch on a goat, I guess, because well, all of them love it. Is that good, huh? <laughs> all right, follow along, you guys. Subscribe.